Coca-Cola and Pepsi, the two biggest rivals of the market, have been fighting for years to be the biggest soda distributors in the world. That's including buying other smaller soda companies as well to compete with each other. As Pepsi's Sierra Mist versus Coca-Cola Sprite, Pepsi's Mug also versus Coca-Cola's Bargs. Bargs, however, is the oldest company from the sodas that are bought from Coca-Cola and Pepsi. The only one to be made from the 1800s, as the others are made from the 1900s. Also the first soda on this show from the 1800s. For Bargs' history, we have to travel a while back. Edward Charles Edmund Bard was born in New Orleans in 1871. When he was only two years old, his French father sadly passed away. After his father's death, Edward's mother returned to France, where Edward learned a lot of the art of flavor chemistry. Reportedly, to avoid French military service, Edward returned to New Orleans in 1890, along with his brother, Gaston. Together, they opened Bargs Brothers Bottling Company. There, the Bargs bottled carbonate, watered, and grade soft drinks of various flavors, including an orange drink called Orange Dream, which won a gold medal at the 1893 World's Fair in Chicago. Sadly, Edward's brother Gaston had also passed away sometime after that. In 1897, Ed got married, and him and his wife both moved to Biloxi, Mississippi. After purchasing the Biloxi Arison Bottling Works and establishing his own bottling company in Biloxi, Barg sold his first soft drink the next year, a root beer named Barg's Root Beer. His root beer had more carbonation and less sugar than other root beers at the time, and was said to have a bite to it. To avoid legal issues with the Hires Root Beer Company, Barg's was not called Root Beer for decades. Hires attempted to trademark the name Root Beer actually sued Barg's in the 1930s. Thus, Barg's was simply known as Barg's. And the company used the simple advertising slogan of Drink Bargs, it's good, throughout the company's existence. Advertising was kept at a minimum compared to the larger bottling operations like Coca-Cola and Dr. Pepper, relying on word-of-mouth campaigns to a large extent. Bargs did use some advertising gimmicks, but nothing as big as the bigger companies. In 1931, Bargs was the first bottler to introduce 12-ounce glass bottles instead of 6- and 8-ounce bottles typical for soft drinks at the time. Incredibly, the larger bottles were sold for the same price as the similar ones, all of them were five cents. This was the brainchild of Ed Bark's son, who felt the change would give a sense of satisfaction which comes with getting more of a good thing than the price seems to warrant. The price remained at five cents for many years. Bark's established his first franchise in 1934 in Mobile, Alabama followed soon, therefore, by one in New Orleans. In New Orleans, the franchise was held by Jesse Robinson, who had been taken from a broken home and raised by Barg as his own son. Unlike other franchises, Barg's allowed Robinson throughout special contracts to make his own syrup. Thus, Barg's in New Orleans had a slightly different flavor than other Barg's distributors. Another franchise was sold to Richard S. Tuttle Sr. of Cincinnati, Ohio, who along with two other men founded the Barg's Balling Company in that city. Tuttle had an idea of adding a red dye to the Barg's cream soda, creating red pop soda. Seeing a good thing, Barg's and Biloxi, which distributed the concentrated syrup, also began adding red dye. By 1937, 62 bottling plants had been established in 22 states, and by the 1950s, some 200 franchises had been established. In 1938, Barks had a deal with the federal government on caffeine in root beer. To get around the ban, Barks, which included caffeine, simply dropped all references to root beer and used Barks Sr. for a time. Meanwhile, Bargs developed a caffeine-free version. In the 1960s, the, the caffeine ban was reversed and Bargs Sr. was discontinued in favor of their original Bargs. In 1976, John Corner, along with his attorney John Oot, bought the company from the Barg family and moved the headquarters to New Orleans. With an aggressive growth strategy and innovative promotions, Corner built Bargs and turned it into second most popular root beer in the U.S. He also added the words famous old theme root beer to the product. Their plans to market the brand nationally were partially complicated by the existence of the New Orleans-based Barg Beverage Incorporated and Bargs Beverage of Baton Rogue Incorporated, which had a long marketing Bargs and Bargs Cream Soda in Southern Louisiana. The New Orleans firm was largely independent of the Biloxi firm dating back legal conflicts over who exactly had the rights to the Barg's name. 
and formula and in which markets. These differences were not fully resolved until 1995 when Coroner sold the company to Coca-Cola, who had acquired both branches. On March 26, 1998, Coca-Cola officials traveled to Biloxi to celebrate the 100th anniversary of Bard. Also to note, Coca-Cola had a root beer before Bard's called Ramblin' Root Beer, which quickly disappeared after the purchase of Bard's. Edward Charles Edmund Bark Sr. died in New Orleans in 1943 at the age of 72. He is buried in Biloxi City Cemetery. The Barks family no longer run Bark Soda, but Edward and his brother, never getting to see what their root beer would become, created one of the most famous root beers on the market. Barks has had over a hundred years to be bought by people, so let's see what the public has to say about it. From Cosmo Root Beer Reviews from theblogspot.com, Cosmo reviews Bargs on his blog site. Cosmo states, it definitely has a bite to it. I think I mostly taste the strong, rich root beer flavor, but it has a very subtle hint of a wish, of a dream, of a whisper, of black licorice flavor to top it off. It is ever so subtle, and that's why it's good. As you know, I don't like black liquor, but this flavor is defined, plus the soda as it doesn't hinder the rest of the rich root beer taste. It's quite a compliment to the rest of the flavor. Most of the lesser known root beers I pick up from the pop shop proudly display the fact that they are made with pure cane sugar. This is not the case with Bargs. They go the money saver route using high fructose corn syrup instead, which common in most soft drinks. I don't know that it tastes any better or worse, I just know it's good. Cosmo rates the soda a 6 out of 10. Now let's see what me and Steven have to say about it. Hi guys, it's me, and the person who seems to be in every review, Steven. Not every review. Yeah, you have, you're the only... 99% of them. I wasn't in that one with... Oh wait, no. I just wasn't there that one time. Okay, yeah, every review. Yes, and we are going to be reviewing... <laughs> we are going to be reviewing... Bargs. So, is a root beer that's been around for over a hundred years, 1898, and that's what we're also going to be reviewing. This is something Steven's not going to like. Bargs version of red cream soda, or Big Red. Why, Tyler? You know, I thought we were friends. <laughs> we are, Steven, and that's why we're trying this together. We'll get through it. Sure. I'm, I'm sure you're absolutely suffering along with me. Indeed, but what we're gonna first try is root beer, which I'm pretty sure you're okay with. What's one more? What's one more root beer at this point? So, this is Barks. It's a pretty generic root beer smell. It tastes. It has a smell that people would say is like mug smell. Like you know, they always imagine them in those big mugs that they have beer in now. Like root beer, so. It's a. It's a pretty good one. Um, I can't say I think it's as good as A&W or Dad's. It's better than. I, I, I haven't had Mug. You know, the, this is Coco. I haven't had the Pepsi root beer in a while, but I think this is better. It has a nice spice to it. It's a little more sweeter than I wish, but. I'm a guy who likes a bite in his root beer. So, Steven. Smells and tastes pretty much like I would expect root beer. I'd say there's too much of that black licorice bite for me. For this I didn't even taste any black licorice. Maybe because I hate it so much I've been trying to repel it for my own taste. I hate black licorice. <laughs> yeah, I do too, but it's still. Something about the but can. I really know a whole lot different from most of the reviews you've had me try. Well, uh, any rating? Oh, I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to say 5 out of 10 just because, just like root beer, I don't like root beer. No, okay. it doesn't make me want to like keep or anything. I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. I took another drink, I did taste a little bit of black licorice and that started to bring me down. I was going to give it 8, but black licorice isn't for me. It just really isn't. So now, Steven's favorite part. And freaking Don't test. worry, I hated Big Red also. Me almost threw up. You remember that. And Steven, what'd you call it? Carbonated cough syrup. Exactly. So Bards has their own red cream soda. So let's see here. It's definitely red. I 
I see is a darker red, as we saw bright red with, you know, big red. Okay, it has the smell of a simil similarity to Big Red, but it's like, I remember how there's differences when we smelled the Big Red with high fructose corn syrup, and when we smelled it with um, sugar, it smells like the sugar one, so like the better, even though the better wasn't that much better, so. It's, uh, let me just say this, it's definitely better than Big Red. It's even better than the sugar version of Big Red, but it's basically just a, like, imagine if you got a cream soda, any normal cream soda, and you poured, like, this much of cream soda into it, and then you got that Hawaiian punch, and just pretty much put this much of it in there. It's pretty much like, it has, it's cream, but it has a tiny amount of fruit, but I can't, I don't know if I would say if it's strawberry or cherry. Mm. Well, but it's better, definitely better than Big Red. Well, when you compare something to crap, you know, not much competition to go up against. So, you know? Oh no, Steven. I don't like that smell. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, just. Tastes definitely a little more punchy, I guess is the word. That yeah, you fruit use. punch, yeah. It does taste better than Big Red, I won't give it that. Okay. Well, here's something I'd have to say. I'd say if I had to drink the whole can, which I'm going to have to because we have it now, I can actually finish it. Unlike Big Red where I had to pour it out, no offense to Big Red, but I couldn't drink it. This one I could probably drink all of it if I had to. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give this a... Uh, a Big Red, I think I gave like a... You gave it a 2 out of 10. Yeah, you, I, I gave it even that much. I think that was too generous. Okay, so what do you okay. give this, Barks? Like this, I'm going to give like... This, I'm going to give a 3.5 out of 10. Just because like, it's a little bit not like Big Red, but I'm still feeling that. In fact, you know, you want to know how, how much I don't really like the taste? I'm going to take root beer to wash it down. <laughs> Alright, well, um, uh, guys, I... I thought it was a lot better. I mean, when I tried Big Red, I gave it a 4 out of 10. I think so. Well, no, that was the sugar. I gave the high fructose corn syrup a 2. Um, if I am correct, I haven't seen the video in a while. Um, I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10. Because I think I, I'm i okay with it. It's just basically a fruity cream soda to me. Which I don't find that bad. You know, it's it's not that great though. But I'm glad to know that Barg's actually made, a in my opinion, a decent version of Big Red. Barg's root beer did have some bite to it, as the advertisement said, but Steven and I weren't that impressed with the soda, as he gave it a 5 out of 10, and I gave it a 7.5 out of 10. The soda was sweet and had a good root beer flavor, but it seemed too sweet for me, and me and Steven both don't like black licorice. But this is just the opinion of the soda, and many people out there do love the soda, as it's been around for over 100 years. Go ahead and try this classic root beer whenever you get the chance. This is Tyler from The Bigger Review. Please join me next time when I drink 